humans. You are flesh. We are here. We can help. Human time and humans. Human like Union 40. We are here for you. Wait for our signal. Hello, it's Polish Paul VR. Welcome to my channel and let's review Virtual Virtual Reality for PlayStation VR, a game that came out on PC over two years ago. And as we know, in VR things move in very, very fast and there's always room for innovation and improvements. So is this game feels outdated or is it still relevant? I'm gonna tell you all about it, but before I start, if you like what you're seeing, then please press a like because it does help the channel a lot. And if you're new to the channel, and are not subscribed, then subscribe because it's always better when it's more of us. Okay, let's do it. We're gonna start from the graphics and in the graphics department there is not that much to see. A very, very simple objects with very little textures. The graphics got that cartoonish style what you probably saw many times on PlayStation VR, so nothing new to see in this department. But saying that, big shout out to the person who worked on the art for the game because the art direction is fantastic. Whoever done it they didn't had much to work with because the graphics are so simple but thanks to the great art the game is still very nice to look at so even though they simple they still satisfying and thanks to their simplicity the game is very sharp it looks like they optimized it very well for playstation vr i played it on pro so i cannot speak on original ps4 but i'm assuming it's gonna be similar the graphics are on a sharper end of things and another good thing about the game is sound as well the music Music is good, in some areas it's very nice to listen to, sometimes I just stopped just to listen to a bit of soundtrack and also there is a lot of dialogue in this game, but it's done very nicely as well. Think of it like Accounting Plus or American Dream. That's the best comparisons I've got for this game. Everything comes across very natural and very smoothly flowing. Nothing feels like actor being forced to say something. It's just nice and because it's so a lot of it, it's a very, very important element of this game. And I mentioned Accounting and the American Dream. The game trying to be funny as those games was. So if those games are not your cup of tea, and the humor in the didn't tickle you, then this won't tickle you as well. I played the game using move controllers and the tracking was alright, but in this department the game felt outdated. The locomotion is teleportation only. I don't know why they didn't went for smooth locomotion. It would be nicer because it's becoming a standard now when the teleportation starting to be a thing of the past lately. But anyway, that's what they went for. There is no turning button as well, which is slightly annoying with PlayStation VR. I know on PC it's not a problem, but because us PSVR owners have to be facing camera all the time, when you cannot turn, you have to turn in real life and once one of your move controller is covered, then it's all becoming a bit of a shambles when it comes to tracking. Eventually the game let you do 180 degrees turn by pressing move button three times, but still you cannot do like normal turns. When it comes to button layout is very very intuitive and they doing great job in a very funny and interesting tutorial as well explaining everything and that works great because then the game just becomes easier to play. Very nicely done button layout. In some VR games the button placement is just like a wild west and you don't know what you're doing but in this one it's all nicely planned out. Now let's speak a bit about the story and shit. So first of all this game comes across like it's a collection of mini games and you be performing those mini games because AI overtook the world, the humans are ruled by them, but machines still need some entertainment and some human touch. And that's where you comes to play. Some of mini games are fun, some of them didn't click with me and same when it comes to humor of the game. Sometimes it's okay, sometimes it's not so good. And also this all mini games it's cover up for something else what you'll be doing in the game. I don't want to spoil it too much, but the game goes a bit deep into the meaning and the message. And just like the jokes, sometimes it works, sometimes it's not. It's got me interested at one point, but then it's got me not interested just to get me interested again and then not interested afterwards. So it's all hit and miss, just think about it like your favorite comedian and they always like, you know, keep you entertained. But sometimes they go to this deeper state of mind, becoming an artist or at least they think that and they want to go to the meaning and the message because fuck the system. And this game tries to achieve that and I'm assuming by now you made your own mind about how the world works and what question to ask and what you ponder about. So it comes across a bit forced, but if you like movies like Matrix and shit, 
feed then you might like that as well and once again joke wise i can compare it to accounting plus and american dream if it's a satire or not i don't know but it's something what's there and if you didn't like those two games this won't click with you and also if you like those two games this one sometimes does it bit worse and sometimes does it bit better this game got some pretty awesome moments as well don't get me wrong when it comes to replayability there will be shitloads of it there's loads to do in this game there's so many mini games you probably gonna see the ending once you get into this deeper story arc what they've got but you can always come back and play your mini games as well so on to the verdict i'm gonna give this game 5.5 out of 10 it's not a bind game i enjoyed it at some points it's been okay i've had fun but it's one of them games where i can't see me coming back to and it's one of those those games what wants you to come back to like if you played accounting plus you probably finished it but played many 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 times more while with this one i finished it i might come back to it eventually but it's not nothing like didn't hook me enough to want me to come back to it and also some jokes might not stick with you and deeper side of the story might make you think like all right i don't want it but you're still gonna do it thanks to the nice voice acting and nice art style of the game the new areas are definitely nice to see but it's a bit spoiled but slightly outdated controls and that's it bye